Hey guys, what's going on? Robert Montez here with Link Financial Advisory, where we are focused on helping you win with money. In today's video, we are going to once again hit Secure 2.0, final video in this series, and we're gonna talk about how Secure 2.0 is impacting businesses, specifically some of the tax credits that have come about because of it. So with that, let's get into it. I think the first thing that's important to understand when we're going through this conversation is what is the difference between a tax deduction versus a tax credit? Because people hear those a lot, don't necessarily know the difference. A tax deduction is just lowering the amount that you're going to be taxed on. So for example, if you make $100,000 as a business, but you have $20,000 in deductions, that means that you are only gonna be taxed on the $80,000 that's left over. Obviously paying taxes on $80,000 is less than what you would pay on 100,000. So that's what a tax deduction is. A tax credit, on the other hand, is a dollar for dollar reduction on your tax bill. So for example, if you had $10,000 as that was your tax bill, but you got a $3,000 credit, means that you are literally getting you know, savings of $3,000 on your tax bill. So you only pay 7,000 that's left over. So important to understand the difference between a deduction and a credit. Now, two of the credits that we saw, let's ask, excuse me, three of the credits we saw, um, with Secure 2.0. The first one was the new employer contribution credit. What this is is that employers with under 50 people receive a dollar for dollar tax credit on the amount that they're contributing into their employee's account up to $1,000 per employee as long as these employees are earning less than $100,000. So this is huge for businesses that are matching contributions because it can lead to a pretty big tax savings. It is phased out over five years and the way that works, it's 100% of the you know what you put in for the first two years, then 75, 50, and 25% before it phases out. So it gives businesses the opportunity to get some pretty significant savings through tax credits on matches that they're doing for new plans that they're setting up. The second tax credit we're seeing is that it's what's known as the plan cost tax credit. So what this is, is that for the first three years of any new plans, this tax credit is going to cover up to one, excuse me, it's going to cover 100% of the employer's ordinary and necessary out-of-pocket plan costs up to the annual limit. Now the annual limit is going to be $500 or if greater, $250 multiply, excuse me, multiplied by non-highly you know non-highly compensated employees so let me give you an example if a business has forty five hundred dollars in plan administration fees on their 401k and 10 non-highly compensated employees if you take 10 times 250 dollars per employee that's a total of twenty five hundred dollars that you get as the first year tax credit so it is kind of like what's higher or lower you have to see that but it's still a huge credit it can offset quite a bit of the cost of running a plan the final tax credit that we're seeing, and this is something that's pretty important just because you know it's the automatic enrollment tax credit. So Secure 2.0 is making it mandatory in the future where you know new plans, as long as the businesses have over 50 people, are gonna have to automatically enroll people anyways. Well, one of the ways they're getting people ready for that is they're offering a $500 tax credit for businesses that just do it you know out the gate. So if you have a business and you're considering setting up the plan, it's definitely worthwhile looking at setting up an automatic contribution, excuse me, an automatic enrollment for your employees because just by doing so and having it in your plan documents, you get an additional $500 tax credit at the end of the year. Um, there's a lot of changes with Secure 2.0. There's a lot to know about employer sponsored plans. This is an area that we specialize in and we are really focused on helping um, our business owners do well. Uh, we really want to help them focus on recruiting and retaining key employees maximizing the retirement savings, and then ultimately lowering their tax bill. So if you have any questions on any of those things, we're here to help. Reach out. Um, love to answer your questions. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos. Hope you're having a great day, and uh, talk to you soon.